Have you ever wondered what goes on inside the mind of your dog? When you're lying there on your favorite spot, loving your simple daily routine, and suddenly you hear your friends calling. They put you in the back of a car and you have no idea where you are going and what you're going to do. So you just relax and wait. Luckily, you're all together. This is Louis and the Rover, destination, the French Alps. Taking your dog out of their comfortable home can be a challenge sometimes. Just like us, they are creatures of routine. Even after a long drive the day before, Louis keeps his weird routines, such as being overly excited at the start of a new day. After a short hike, we continue our journey to the French Alps. One of the best things about traveling in France is all the awesome bakeries where you can get all kinds of pastries. An old village like this is so rich in stories, from beautiful to terrifying. For us, these stories are a reminder of how special it is we can do freely what we love. The Alps always had a special place in our heart. The scenery is the opposite of where we are from, where mountains are hills that are still below sea level. For our first night, we set up camp at a small campsite high in the French Alps. All campers will recognize. Setting up your camp with the build you worked on so hard is one of the most satisfying moments while traveling. Even in the blistering cold, while well, Patrick forgot to pack a lighter and fire starters, trying to start a campfire with toilet paper. We were still kind of enjoying ourselves. But then, the next morning, centimeters of snow surrounded us. We did some work inside of the rover and then took Louis out for his first snow fun of the year. <laughs> we decided to drive higher up into the mountains where we got rewarded with the first sunbeams. Louis was having the time of his life. He has an unending pool of energy. But that energy needs to be fueled by, well, literally anything he can find. He is also the most loyal friend you can find. At least, if you have food in your hands.
back at our base camp the next morning. We celebrated Patrick's birthday with cake for breakfast. <laughs> and what better way to celebrate your birthday high in the mountains with your two favorites in the whole world doing an awesome hike. Louis did some great preparation by eating snow. And our preparation, as always, had a few faults. No snowshoes, no sunglasses for Patrick, only one layer of sunscreen. But the scenic environment made us forget about our burnt faces and wet feet. Being alone on a mountain summit can intensify the feeling of wonder. The wonder of the natural world. Without any distractions, you can fully appreciate the beauty and the power of the mountains. The rest of our time, we relaxed for a bit and enjoyed the solitude. We concluded. Adventures do not always have to be far and long because it's not just about the physical distance or duration of an experience. Changing your routine and your environment for only a few days can create memories for a lifetime. Like a panacook. So, you feel a bit tired, so you decide to lie down on your favorite spot. Slowly, you feel your eyes closing further and further down. You wonder why your best friends are so busy again. You don't have any plans. But why do you feel so tired? Did you do anything wild? Ah oh well, who cares? You just enjoy this moment. And probably when they need me, they will call me again and I will be there. <laughs>